In this video, I'm going to show you how to leverage the Homekeeper website to bring a blog into your brand new KDB website. So I've already brought my blog in, and first thing you need to do is go to Homekeeper, which is Homekeeper without the E at the end. Dot com and you're going to sign in as a realtor. Now, I've already signed in, and when you sign in, you're going to see this little option that will tell you widgets under my dashboard. You're going to want to come to the My Widgets, and you want to click Embed Widget. Now, there's one for pros, so if you want to use it, HomeKeeper can let you list your vendors. I'm going to come to My Blog Widget, which they already wrote this blog, and these articles branded to you are going to automatically show up on your website for free. Now we're going to want to use the My Blog widget called iframe. Now you'll see it works with Market Leader, Playster, and it could even have a little button that says KW uh, website because it does work for our website. So we're going to copy this code right here. Now to add a page in command, we're going to come into agent.kb.com. We're going to come down to consumer and we're going to want to click on agent site pages to add a site page. Now, I've already created this from before, but we're going to go ahead and create another one. Create new site and we want to do it on our agent site because this is going to be another page for our website. So top option, create page. Now, first thing I like to do is name it. So I'm going to call this blog three because I've already done a couple today. And this will be the blog title. So you would just call it blog, real estate blog, whatever you want. So you would know this is the page you created for this type. Now on the right hand side, these are widgets. So I just need a contact form. Click and drag it over. And this is going to be a contact us form at the bottom. You need at least one widget for this to work. Now we'll come back to configuring it in a second. The next thing I want is content blocks. I want the blog to be above the contact us form. So we're actually going to come and use the text box. Click and drag. See the little green line? That means it's going to go above the contact us form. So we're going to paste that here. You're going to double click and get rid of all the text. And then we're going to paste everything from Homekeeper. So here's that code if you need it again. You're going to come back to command and paste it right here in the text box. Don't worry, it's not going to show up just yet until you click save. Now, before we hit save, we have to come down below and do configure widgets to make sure the contact us form is filled out. So I'm going to click configure widgets. The first thing it says is contact us. You can say contact me. I'm going to say contact the J team. I'm going to put a little intro paragraph that might say thank you for checking out our real estate blog. If we can be of service, use the contact form below. I've already got a little message in there. My phone number is correct. Save and apply. And I've just configured this web page. So the next step is to simply say save pages. Are you sure you want to publish this online? Yes. And that's the first step. So that just makes the page. But the page right now, here it is, blog three, is invisible right now, meaning nobody can see it yet. So the second part of this is to come to site and app settings. And you're going to want to come to site pages. This is how you can rearrange the order of the pages. You can add a page. So we're going to add a page. Now, I've already got one called real estate blog. But for this example, You'll see the list of any pages you've created. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. And here's the one we just did together, blog three. Continue. Now I'm going to call this blog three because I already have a real estate blog added to my website. The link, you would give it a link. So I might just use the word blog. For me, I'm going to say blog three because I already have a blog one. And the description could be check out our real estate blog courtesy of the J team with Keller Williams something along those lines I click save but first I want to rearrange the order so I'm going to click here and take the six dots and this moves that page into the order I want it in my menu so I might want it to go right above my other real estate blog I'm going to say save page changes and when I come back to my website, I'm going to come back to the home screen. I'm going to come to my menu in the upper right hand corner. And here it is. Here's the new page we created. So I'm going to click on blog. 
and there is the blog automatically created for me with all the articles and if I click one of these like new to working from home here are the top tips this will be branded to me saying I wrote it with some extra information they can learn about what it's like to work from home. So this is the ability to put a blog on your website. Soon KW will build our own, but for now this is free, easy to use. You saw it was just copy and paste. Now I have a real estate blog, here's my main one, that will allow people to see what's happening, get some updates. Every couple of days they automatically do a blog for me and it shows up on my website instantly. So thank you for watching this video. If you found value, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect and YouTube today.